new, 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 new. Okay, this is coming soon. Coming soon, the new version of the S3 box. Uh, a lot of people signed up and liked the S3 box from Espressif, yeah. uh, but they've revised it. I think they've improved it a lot, uh, just looking good. It's got a 2.4 inch screen, ESP32 S3, two microphones, accessories. Just got some photos from them. Uh, we'll get some in the next week or two, so sign up. Revisions. Revision. Um, so this LED backpack, um, based on the HT 16K33, we love it. Uh, it's great. We're doing revisions. While we were revising this, we also added STEM QT ports on it. So, if you want to use this and you you know don't want to have to um, do any wiring, once you solder the LED matrix on the front, you just plug and play. Uh, you can chain these together and set the address and have a bunch of them all together in a chain. All right. Next up. Uh, we also have a revision of the GPIO bonnet. Oh boy, we could not get the Max MCP 23017 for a while on the QFN. I revised to use the TSOP because I could get the TSOP. Um, maybe now I can get the QFN, but at the time the TSOP was only available. And while I was there, I also made it so it's fully assembled. Um, so the 2x8 GPIO IDC ports now come fully assembled on, as well as the um, the, the two by 20 header that goes into the pie and I put a stomach QT port. So it got like a pretty good scrubbing down some revisions. I'll be honest, even done almost 500 revisions now. Um, a lot of them, you know, we just update the silk screen and you don't know I've changed a couple parts here and there um, because of transistor or voltage regulator was unavailable, but this one is a pretty big revision. Okay. And then these are nearly identical looking cables, but uh, we got them. They're so identical looking, but they're not, they are the half meter long, display and camera cables for the Raspberry Pi 5. Um, if you want to use the um, Raspberry Pi display, the official display, you'll need one of these cables. If you want to use any of the Raspberry Pi cameras, uh, this will convert it from the new Pi 5 22 pin to the old style 15 pin connector. Okay, and then start of the show besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, our team, and everybody who makes this thing go, and everyone go, go, who's go, trying go, go. to build a better world together is? Oh, the ADS7830. Um, this is a fun little ADC. Uh, we've had people ask, hey, you know, I want to add a lot of analog inputs to a, you know, a chip or microcontroller or a Raspberry Pi. Uh, and I like the ADS1015 series, but they're a little pricey and they're a little pricey. Um, this is much less expensive. It's about half the price and it has twice as many channels. It's not as precise. It's an 8-bit, not a 10 or 12 or 16-bit ADC. So it's not for like precision measurements of like a thermistor or um, you know, like a microphone or whatever, something where you need, uh, you know, 10, 12 or more bits of accuracy, uh, precision. What it is good for is potentiometers or a flex sensor. You know, if you're cool with only having 0.5% uh, precision, then 8 bits is plenty. And I think for a lot of purposes it is, especially since it's going to be, again, lower cost and you get eight full channels. So um, we put this on a breakout board. You can uh, use it with I2C. We've got Arduino library, CircuitPython, and Python coming shortly. You can change the address. You can have um, up to uh, four of these on one single I2C bus for 32 total channels. Um, it runs from 2.5, you know, whatever, 3 volts to 5 volt logic uh, and power. You can, by default, use the power as the, the reference. If not, you can, of course, have an external reference. It just has to be smaller than the, um, the power, I think, but I'm actually not sure. Check the data sheet for that. Um, but not a lot going on the on the on this breakout board. So check the data sheet for the ADS7830. It can do up to 70 kilosamples per second um, over I2C. And we just kind of rigged it up so that you can quickly get it going uh, on your microcontroller that needs more analog inputs. All right. New, 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 new